Yeah, I just wanted to be rich, you see, but I wanted to be a Beatle mainly. John Lennon was an iconic musician, songwriter and peace activist who was widely influential in the 1960s and 70s. As a symbol of the counterculture movement, Lennon was known for challenging the status quo and also living a life of luxury. Of all his possessions, perhaps the most impressive are his cars. While Lennon had a variety of luxury cars at his disposal, the exact number of cars he owned is a matter of some dispute. Today, we're taking a look at the luxurious and sporty car collection of the legendary Beatle, John Lennon. Let's begin. After a highly successful 1964 Beatles World Tour, all the band members began to spend some of their newfound wealth. In July 1964, John Lennon purchased the Kenwood estate in Surrey and reportedly bought his first luxury car, a used maroon and black two-tone Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud. The actual year of his Silver Cloud is of some debate, but only two short months after purchasing the Silver Cloud, he put in an order for a more luxurious and now infamous 1965 Rolls-Royce Mulliner Park Ward Phantom 5. Lennon ordered the luxury Rolls-Royce in 1964, and after taking six months to build, it was finally delivered in 1965. It was this Rolls-Royce that carried the Beatles to Buckingham Palace to receive their member of the British Empire medals from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in 1965. It was configured with one-way triplex deep-light passenger glass, black upholstery, a cocktail cabinet, seven-piece luggage set, a Perdio portable television and a refrigeration cabinet in the trunk. While waiting on his Phantom 5 Rolls-Royce to be delivered, Lennon acquired his driver's license on February 15, 1965, an event which made the national press. The next day, a number of car dealers reportedly travelled to Lennon's Surrey estate with a selection of high-end motor cars for his consideration. Lennon selected a 1965 Ferrari 330 GT 2 Plus 2 Berlinetta, painted blue with a blue interior, to which he later added a Webasto sunroof. In addition to his Ferrari and new Rolls-Royce, John Lennon also acquired the first of several Mercedes-Benzes he would own, a 1965 Mercedes-Benz 230 SL Roadster, the 230 SL had a blue on grey exterior and was powered by a 2.3-litre SOHC inline-six engine, producing 150 brake horsepower. 1966 Mini Cooper S Radford DeVille In 1966, Lennon acquired a Mini Cooper S Radford DeVille, perhaps with the idea that it was quite like the Rolls-Royce of Minis. Lennon requested the car be finished in black with a black leather interior, black wheels and black bumpers, mirroring his Rolls-Royce Phantom. Inspired by George Harrison's psychedelic Radford Mini, Lennon wanted something equally far out for his Phantom 5. And in April 1967, he sent the car to J.P. Fallon Coachworks for a remodel. J.P. Fallon repainted the Rolls yellow, to which local artist Steve Weaver added colorful floral tendrils Romany scrolls, zodiac symbols, and Lennon's astrological sign, Libra. The newly painted Rolls-Royce was delivered just a few days before the Beatles' innovative 1967 album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which is widely considered the most important and influential rock and roll album ever recorded. But by 1968, his psychedelic yellow Rolls-Royce was no longer an expression of who he was. In contrast, in 1968, Lennon bought a used 1965 Rolls-Royce Phantom 5, which became his primary mode of transport. It's reported that Lennon's white Rolls-Royce was initially a two-tone black over green color, but Lennon wanted it changed to white, inside and out. He allegedly paid more than $15,000 in today's money for the car to be converted to all white. Gone were the days of the multicolored Sergeant Pepper style suits as a new bright and simple classic mood had arrived. Lennon was now living a new phase of his life with Yoko Ono and his changing mood towards minimalism 
was further demonstrated by his white suits and the artwork for the critically acclaimed Beatles White Album. Another vehicle Lennon owned, which he famously crashed, was a British Leyland Austin Maxi. While travelling in Scotland with Yoko Ono, her daughter Kyoko, and his son Julian, John Lennon crashed his white Austin Maxi car near Durness in the Highlands. Lennon was a notoriously bad driver who had rarely been behind the wheel since passing his test in 1965. The roads were narrow, the weather was poor, and Lennon panicked after spotting a foreign tourist driving towards him. Lennon lost control of his Austin Maxi, driving it into a roadside ditch. He, Ono and Kyoko sustained cuts to the face, and Ono's back was injured. They were taken to Goldsby's Lawson Memorial Hospital, where Lennon was given 17 facial stitches, and Ono received 14 stitches in her forehead. In 1969, Lennon acquired the first right-hand drive Isofidia, a luxury sports sedan produced by Italian car manufacturer Iso Automove Coli. Lennon's acquisition of the car was not only due to its elegant and sporty appearance, but also to the exclusivity of the model, which made it a real gem for collectors and classic car enthusiasts. Although the body of the Fidia was quite large, its low weight, thanks to the use of lightweight materials such as aluminium, enabled the car to reach a top speed of around 142 miles per hour. Lennon's Fidia was the second ever off the production line. In 1969, towards the end of the year, Lennon placed an order for a Mercedes-Benz 600 Pullman, which at the time was the most expensive car in the world. This specific elongated model is one of the rarest 70s Mercedes of all time, with only 428 examples ever produced. The white Mercedes was delivered in February 1970. It featured black velvet upholstery, front and rear Becker Grand Prix radios, and a Philips Mignon EP in-car record player. He would later sell it to George Harrison in 1971, when he and Ono moved to New York. While in the US, Lennon acquired a green 1972 Chrysler, town and country station wagon that allowed him to get around unnoticed. This Chrysler was said to be one of Lennon's favorite vehicles because of its modesty and practicality, allowing him to travel through life virtually unrecognized. John and Yoko spent a lot of time riding in this car, affectionately naming it the Dragon Wagon or the Green Dragon. Ultimately, at the request of Yoko Ono, Lennon's beloved Chrysler station wagon was replaced by a 1979 Mercedes 300 TD the mechanically fuel-injected five-cylinder diesel engine only produced 77 horsepower. Reportedly, Lennon primarily used the wagon to haul music equipment to and from various studios while recording his last album. Considering Lennon's desire for solidarity and to stay away from the public eye, the Mercedes served as an ideal curtain to Lennon and his family whenever they were caught up in New York's traffic. The 1979 Mercedes 300 TD would be the last car John Lennon owned before his untimely death in 1980. He was 40 years old.